video, I'm going to show you how to transform a Arabidopsis with Agrobacterium. Here I have an overnight culture of Agrobacterium. It's a binary vector that I want to put inside of Arabidopsis. Start the procedure. I'm going to transfer this Agrobacterium with 50 ml tube, root 50 ml culture and LV. I'm going to centrifuge that down for 10 minutes, about 5,000 G, uh, and I'll, I'll come back. Alright, our speed is over, 10 minutes is up, so we get our agrobacterium out of here. And you can see that it is pelleted on the bottom, there's a little bit of agro there. And we'll pour away our supernatant, keeping our pellet. So we slide our pellet there and add just a little bit of bleach. The supernatant kill all the kill all the bacteria before throwing it down the drain. That's a little bit. Here I have a 5% super solution with 0.05% uh, silhouette L77. It's not sterile. It doesn't have to be sterile. Add a small amount to my pellet, and then I'm going to vortex this to try to break up that pellet. The reason for adding a small amount first is actually you'll get the pellet pre-suspended a little bit quicker, and if the pellet is is quite tight, you could always um, pipette it a few times. I'm going to do that since the pellet is not instantaneously resuspending. It would be harder if we put the full, the full 50 ml to get the pipette tip into the bottom. Some people think that you shouldn't vortex the aggro for doing a transformation. I've not seen that, that have any effect. I always get lots of transgenic plants. Yeah. Now I have the rest of the super solution. what we're going to use to dip our Arabidopsis flowers. So we're going to take this down to the growth chamber and dip some of our Arabidopsis. Alright, so these are the plants that I'm going to transform here. They look nice and healthy and their inflorescences between 2 and 10 centimeters tall, which is the optimal uh, height for transformation. According to the paper published by Ben and Paul, we take our our agrobacterium super solution and put it into a a pipette box lid. You can put it into whatever you want, but a small a small dish is what we're going for here. And I'm going to take this efflorescence and I'm going to just submerge it. About five seconds. You want to see that so that the fluorescence is in the agrobacterium solution. Also, notice I'm wearing gloves. You want to wear gloves, definitely want to wear gloves for this procedure so that agrobacterium doesn't transform you. you. Uh, finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of agrobacterium solution with this so we have a plenty of more. Young buds and flower buds here. At the base of the plant, I'm going to just drip some agrobacterium solution on them. And if any of the the buds on the on the upright inflorescence uh, were not, you couldn't get them into the dish very well. You could use uh, 
and transfer pipette to, to get a little bit of the solution on that. Do one more. Agrobacterium solution for five seconds or so. Try not to turn the pot completely upside down so that too much soil won't fall into the solution. Take that out. And again, use our transfer pipette to get these, these young buds at the base of the plant. They'll, those young, those young buds will they'll grow into a secondary inflorescence. You actually get a lot of seeds from those areas too. So now I've dipped all of these plants and uh, put some droplets on the, what will be the secondary inflorescence as well. And I add a little bit of water in the bottom of this flat so that the plants you know, um, are well hyd will be well hydrated. And then I'm gonna close this with a dome. The dome will main, maintain 100% humidity, um, which will allow the agrobacteria to colonize the Rabidopsis. Tomorrow, I'll come in and I'll crack the dome so that there's a small gap there, and it will allow the humidity to cool break with the chamber without stressing out the plants too much from going from 100% humidity to lower humidity. And the following day, we'll take the dome off completely and then allow the plants to grow um, with watering. And when the inflorescents are um, big and mature and there's lots of seeds, we collect those. And um, we, do get, we usually get somewhere from 1% to 5% transformation efficiency. The other thing that we need to do is we have this agrobacterium solution right here. We need to add some bleach to that. Um, Sterilize it and then throw it down the same. Anyway, thank you for watching.